welcome back so in this video we'll talk uh, we'll do some more operations like uh, what if if I want to print something like hello so I want to display hello in my frame so in last code what we have done is we have just create a created a frame so to see those frame right click on your project area or coding area and then say run so you can see I got this window right so this is your frame but the thing is I need to I want to print hello here so what we can do we can just say uh, let me close this yeah so what we can do next is yeah we can take a label so we have a component called as label in swing or oh, sorry in AWT so we are talking now we are talking about AWT so we'll focus on AWT uh, we have uh, we have a component called label okay so again to import package we have to say control shift i okay and select label now if you can focus we have we have used two components one is frame and second is label and both these components belongs to the same package called as awt and this awt stands for its abstract window e it's toolkit okay so uh, this is awt right and awt is replaced by swing in future so what we have uh, we have now for, we'll start with awt then we'll see what is swing applications okay so now uh, to display something we have label l and again we have to give the memory right so we'll say new uh, label okay and we'll give a name so we'll say hello okay so once we have done this we have a frame so we can see a frame right and now we have a label now what it means is like when you create a poster so you you can create like you can you can tear up some papers you can create some collage and you can stick that collage to your to your poster right in the same way you have a frame you have a label now you have to add this label to your frame and for that you have to use a method called as add and then say l now this l which is your label will get added to your frame okay let's see how it works so when you run this now you can see there is something called as hello okay but but what if uh, let, let's expand this what what if, if i have two labels let's suppose i have one more label as l1 oh spelling mistake so it's label and still I to declare I need to give memory so I'll say L1 equal to new label and this time I print hi okay since I have to I have to show both right so I will say add L and add L1 so when I do this now I have two labels which are added to your frame now if I run this now you can see we have only hi there is no hello here question is why it's because uh, your frame your frame by default goes with something called as card layout now what is card layout it's like playing a playing cards so if you have a card like uh, a spade or a card like king if you have another card like queen so if you keep queen above your king you cannot say king right you can only say queen in the same way now this label is over your label hello so what we are doing is we are overriding this hello what I need to say I don't want to use card layout now that that's the, the, the default layout your, your frame follows is card layout which means one one or component will come above another component so your high is above hello what I want they should be together they should be they should uh, they should occupy half of space of your frame so I have to change the layout so for that what we do is we have to say set layout so this is your method using which you can set the layout and it will ask you for the object of some layout so we'll say we will follow f flow layout now if, what is flow layout we'll see in a minute but we have something as flow layout okay and then we have to pass object of f again since we are using predefined classes you have to import the package so we'll say control shift i and somewhere above you can see we have a package for flow layout which is awt okay now now if i run this uh, 
you can see we, we, we can see both uh, both the components which is hello and hi now this flow layout is like first if you say hi if you say hello it will take this middle middle uh, space of your screen if you say hello and hi both will try to accommodate at the center of the screen and uh, that's why you can see both are in the middle right so we have hello and hi which is your flow layout so flow layout is like a flow if new components get added they will try to occupy the space they have in middle okay so this is how your flow layout works like this flow layout we have many layouts that we'll see in future but currently what you have is your, you have a flow layout uh, you have to create object of flow layout then you have to pass that layout in, in here and then you can add your labels but what's, it, what's tricky is the this F object you are using only for once right so what we can do if you are using any object once, you, instead of defining the name, you can directly say you, have, you can create an anonymous, anonymous object of those class. So what you can do is you, instead of passing f, you will directly pass new flow layout. So don't have to write this, right? So this is how you can improve your code. You can uh, to set a layout, you have to pass new flow layout. Uh, you have created two labels, and we have added two labels. Again, if I run this, now you can see the output. It's somewhere. Yeah, it's you have hello and hi okay so this is this is from uh, this is your label and that's what this video uh, for more videos do subscribe thank you so much